Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. Today I'm really excited to be jumping into Star Wars Imperial Assault Legends of the Alliance. So what we're seeing right down here is a printed out rule book. Very different than what's included in the base game of Imperial Assault. So for those of you that are not familiar with Star Wars Imperial Assault, it does come with a main game campaign as well as skirmish modes. But this particular mode was a release based on the Legends of the Alliance app, which essentially is going to control the Imperial player. This is going to also allow for a number of rule changes, but will follow generally the same major rules that are applied in the typical base game of Imperial Assault. But it's worth mentioning there are changes and things we have to take into account. So how this is going to work is this particular video is going to be the setup video to show you how to get the game to the table when using the Legends of the Alliance app in order to get ready to start playing. Uh, after this video, we're then gonna go through the tutorial within the app, which is gonna help, help you guys understand a little bit more about the rule changes and the things that are now different about how we're gonna be able to handle and play through Legends of the Alliance than what is we're used to in the base game. And then finally, after that, depending on time and other constraints, we'll continue into the campaign for Star Wars Imperial Assault. So I'm really excited for this, and really my hope is to hit a wide audience, audience because at the end of the day, I really want uh, a lot of newcomers that are coming into the hobby or individuals who are really excited for Star Wars in general to have really an introductory way of getting into this game and understanding even at the lowest level. So that's why we're gonna go through the tutorial. So for those of you who are familiar with the game, I do apologize, I will be going through that tutorial even though a large majority of you might under, already understand the app and or the major, uh, the major rules within this game. But uh, I really do feel it's an important thing to cover before we get into the campaign that we do that. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and I printed out the Imperial Assault Legends of the Alliance rulebook. So again, this is a rulebook that came out alongside the app. You don't find this in the base game of Star Wars Imperial Assault. However, who knows in the future if they will incorporate it in another version or uh, you know second edition or something along, along those lines. For now, you have to go to Fantasy Flight's site in order to pick this up, and then you can go ahead and take a read through it and see the differences. The app, like I mentioned, will also take you through a number of the differences and then just points you to reference points within in the Imperial Assault reference booklet, which is totally separate from this, in order to kind of enhance your understanding of the game. Uh, so what really what we're gonna focus on right now is the setup, so let's get right to that. So I'm just gonna pull this off to the camera for a second. We're just gonna flip this over to the setup page and we're just gonna follow it through. And I'm gonna show you how to get this thing to the table and set up. And I can tell you right now, it's really not that complex. So here is the setup portion of the rule book. So Right off the top, it has very, very easy to see visuals in terms of what needs to be out on the table for you. So it's saying right up here, set up. When starting a new campaign in Legends of the Alliance, perform the following steps. The first thing you do is prepare the supply. So we're gonna place the dice, which we have right here, just close by. We're gonna place the condition cards. We have condition cards that are sitting just over here to the right. That's this deck right here. Uh, and the damage, strain, and condition tokens within easy reach of all players. So we're gonna have the damage, strain, and then a bunch of really messy piles of tokens over here. Now I haven't actually gone ahead and separated those out because as I need them, I will go ahead and pull those out. Uh, and then it says place reference cards within easy reach of all players. Well, I'm only playing solo by myself, so the reference cards are these guys right here. On the opposite side, they look like this. So if you find all of those reference cards, there should be five of them. Just keep them handy because there's some terms, especially this card right here for the tutorial, that's really, really important to keep close to you because you'll be using things like cleave and pierce and those types of things will pop up as you go through the app. Although those other reference cards could also come in handy. Uh, another thing to totally not forget is to remove cards, valuable goods, troop data, and C1 comlink from the supply card deck. What is a supply card deck? It looks exactly like this. This is your supply card deck. Now inside of this deck, there's you just grab all of them that you have for the base game. And that's another thing I wanna make mention of. I am going into this setup with absolutely no expansions added in. This is vanilla. Imperial Assault, no extras, no, no additional cards. So you take your supply deck here, you flip it over, you go through it until you find the three cards it mentions. So Valuable Goods is one, and it just so happens that I've already planted that right at the bottom so that we can quickly take a look at it and see. So this is the one you remove, or one of the ones you remove. You also remove Troop Data, so this is also gonna be a card that needs to be removed from the deck. 
And then finally, C1 Comlink also needs to be removed from the deck as well. If I can get that to focus, which it kind of doesn't really want to do. But as long as those three are outside of your deck, you go ahead, you shuffle your deck, which I've already done kind of off camera, and everything's ready to go. So this deck's now going to sit back over here. These three cards are no longer in play, most likely due to something in terms of conflict with the fact that we're playing with an AI-controlled Imperial uh, setup. So maybe these cards just don't work that well. So they've, they've said in the instructions to take those completely out. So we've done that. Then we says we go ahead and shuffle the supply deck and place it face down within reach. We've done that. Now it says right here, if players have already incorporated Jabba's Realm or Twin Shadows, and you guys are aware of those expansions, they should also remove the Pit Droid and Chance Cubes supply cards respectively. So we don't have to worry about that because like I said, this is just the base Imperial Assault game. I don't have those extras in there right now. So we can skip on to the next step. So we've already finished off step one. And you can see right here, if you're confused about any components, they're blatantly obvious right over here to the right as to which ones you're actually setting out. And we just talked about that section up in the top right. So now we're gonna head over here to prepare and set aside components. So this says set aside the deployment cards, uh, gray figures, map tiles, doors, and the objective terminal and crate tokens. So let's kind of go over that really quickly. First off, we got all of our gray enemies over here. So this is really just all the horde of the Imperial character. All their characters are just kind of sitting in a giant pile over there, which is perfectly fine. Our deployment cards, of course, with the Imperial symbol there, and they are all in here ready to go. So these cards will reference, essentially, individual units that are sitting over in this pile here. So we gotta keep them close by because the app's gonna call for those and we'll need them. Uh, of course, map tiles, doors, and all that kind of stuff. I've set those over here. So I got a pile of map tiles here. I've got a door handy, ready to go right here. I got some terminals ready to go. I got some supply tokens ready to go. So we're all set up there. And as you can see, this area is what we're just talking about right now. So all those things are up. And these three right here are called mission tokens. And currently I've left them inside the piles because if we need them or if they're called for, we'll just grab them as we need them. So that essentially covers step number two. And then right away it just says run the app. Run the Legends of the Alliance app and select new game, then choose a campaign to play. Desired difficulty level and an empty save slot. For players first campaign it's recommended that they choose a tutorial that is appropriate for their experience level with Imperial Assault. The tutorials guide the players through the remainder of setup. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go exactly through this as if we've never played this game before. And I have, but we're going to go through this as if we know nothing. Because what I really want to do is introduce this game to individuals who don't have it. Uh, and at least to start, and then we'll move on from there. And we're going to wait for this thing to load up, and then we're going to go and just follow along with it. This is where things are going to get really interesting. And I hope everything's connected sound-wise and we got everything ready to go. Yep, sounds like we're good. So you'll see right off the top, it says this application requires the board game Star Wars Imperial Assault and visit the collection menu to indicate which physical Imperial Assault products you have access to. The more physical product you own, the more content you'll unlock in your digital experience. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna skip on past that and there you go. You've got your main menu. So obviously if you go ahead to your uh, options in the top right up here, you've got simple things like language, sound effects, ambient music. We are going to keep all that stuff there because who doesn't want to hear Star Wars in the background? And then we're gonna go ahead and through here, you can see if you go to the collection, that it opens up a screen which gives you a percentage across the top of how much Imperial Assault collection you currently own. So right now the base game is obviously enabled and uh, you couldn't even really play the game without it. So if you removed it from your collection, you'd go down to 0% and uh, well, I don't know what you'd be doing with the app at that point. Uh, but essentially if you own something, then you just go into it, you click, simply click add collection, very similar to Mansions of Madness. It falls into your uh, pile of, um, you know, games that you've got in your collection here in the app. It stores that, it also records a percentage of how much you own, just to make you feel completely in in inadequate that you don't have enough stuff already. I feel like that percentage bar is just there to toy with you. Uh, so don't worry about that. The thing is about this Imperial Assault game is you can completely play the app that's been released with just the base game. You do not need all these expansions that are out. They of course will enhance things and add more variabil variability to the game, but you don't need them. So let's move back. Uh, of course, if we go to the main menu, other things are rules. I'm not going to click on it, but if I clicked on rules, I would get a digital version of the rule book, which I already showed you. So let's just jump right into new game. 
and get going. As you can see, the game offers two different campaigns. So one is Legends of the Alliance tutorial and then the Flight of the Freedom Fighter. This is the one I really want to play, but I'm going to go through the Legends of the Alliance tutorial first because I want to show new players kind of how this plays. And it also will give us a good basis to what's going on. So whether you are brand new to Star Wars Imperial Assault or a veteran, this tutorial will teach you how to play Legends of the Alliance. So let's continue. All right, so we'll go ahead and we got to you know, pick our empty slot. Have you played any version of Star Wars Imperial Assault before? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that I'm completely useless. Uh, and then I'm going to say how many heroes will be playing the tutorial. I'm going to say two. So the game now is going to pick two heroes for us to play with. Those two heroes are uh, Jan Odin and Garkin. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go actually just move these guys off the side for a second as I grab their cards. Or maybe what we'll do is just move forward with the app first because I think the app will actually even tell us what we do next. Um, we can select a name for our squad. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to be very creative right now off the top of my head. So uh, <laughs> I kind of want to use Lightbringers just because it. Uh, I think that kind of ties into Sword and Sorcery. So, uh, But it still it works for this. So Lightbringers, that's what we're going to use. Makes sense. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and hit continue and move on. And it's going to load it up. There we go. All right, so a little bit dish different than the Mansions of Madness app. This particular app, actually, you go ahead and you read the text on the screen, so it isn't uh, narrated for you, at least so far, from what I've seen. Maybe it's just a tutorial that's like that. We'll see. But I'll read this out for you guys. So, from within the Rebel base on Yavin 4, you listen anxiously as the pilots of Red and Gold Squadrons face down the Empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star. You cheer with joyful relief when Luke Skywalker destroys the Imperial installation with a single shot. You stand at grateful attention as Princess Leia presents Skywalker and Han Solo with awards for their uh, what that meritorious service. Wow. Uh, yet the ceremony has hardly finished when Rebel Command orders a full evacuation of the Yavin 4 base. You help load the transports, uncertain how long you have until the Empire arrives. All right, let's launch this mission. All right. I do apologize, of course, this screen's gonna go a little bit crazy at times uh, while it tries to focus and stuff like that. So I'm also gonna be doing a lot of reading for you guys, especially in, in situations like this, because it's gonna be hard to see. Um, so it says right here, in Imperial Assault, one to four players take part in an epic Star Wars adventure. Each player controls his own hero of the Rebel Alliance. And you must work together to accomplish the goals of the campaign that you are playing. Campaigns played over a series of missions, and though you might lose some individual missions, uh, the campaign will continue until it reaches its conclusion. The fate of the Rebel Alliance is in your hands. This tutorial will teach you how to play Star Wars Imperial Assault. This tutorial provides a broad overview of the rules, terms, and bold text refer to specific entries in the rules reference guide. I mentioned that earlier in the video, including your course set, where you can find more information on those topics. So if we need any more information, we'll, we'll uh, reference the rules ref reference. If you need to review past messages, you can find them in the message log by selecting the indicated icon in the message log just down below here. So we'll skip that. That's in case we have to go back and forget something. Uh, you had just arrived at Rebel Base on Yavin uh, as new recruits when the Death Star came to destroy the moon. Now that the Death Star has been destroyed, nearly everyone on the planet is preparing to evacuate the base. You, however, are to undergo training to become soldiers and perhaps one day legends of the Alliance. Italicized text tells the story of what is happening in the game. Non-italicized text is rules and explanatory text that instructs you about what to do. And missions in Imperial Assault are played on maps made of double-sided tiles. The app tells you which tiles to place, when to place them, all that wonderful stuff. And here we go. So we've got a giant list of tiles, as you can see. So the app will go ahead and it'll give you a bunch of tiles and a row that we're supposed to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start grabbing those tiles. Wonderfully, I've already got those things roughly figured out. So we just have to make sure we've got the correct ones here. So I've got, uh, we need three 18As. So you can see there's an 18A right there. So I'll put those three aside. So one, two, and three. So that covers that. Uh, we need one 17A. So we've got that one right here. We need, we don't need 38 right now. 10A, we do need this guy. So we'll put that one to the side. Uh, 6A, we need this one. Uh, 9A, we need this one. Uh, 5A, we need this one. 
2A, and I think the last one's probably 1A. Yep, we've got them all. So everything is there, we're all sorted, ready to go, and now it's just a matter of putting together our first mission. So let's go ahead and hit continue. There we go. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just jump up the audio a little bit. There we go. Okay, because we kind of got like this ambient music in the background here. All right, so the air is hot and thick with humidity. The sounds of the dense, lively jungle surround you on all sides. Place tiles 02A and 18A, and one door on the table is indicated. Place a door token in a plastic stand on the edge of the door, uh, or on the edge of the door token icon. You can move the map around the screen by dragging it. You can also zoom in and out of the map. So that's pretty, pretty well-known stuff. You can do exactly what you can do with Mansions of Madness, that type of thing. So let's grab the right ones. We got 18A, we need this one. We need one door, so we got that door right here. And we need tile number 2A, which I think was the second last one in our pile. So let's go all the way to the bottom here. There we go, 2A, perfect. So we got one, two, three, and the door token. So that's awesome. Now we can just lay those out as indicated and we should be ready to go. So follow the app. You pretty much just take a look at the app and you orientate this uh, particular, the tiles in the order that you need to. And I think I just picked up the wrong one. This is one. I need two. I need this one. So this is the first one we need. And this one's correct. 18 would go here. And the door, actually, I guess we don't need one right now. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, and then we put the door tile right like this. Now, just to let you guys know, the app kind of says you just put the door over the over the spot. And you can see, if I zoom in on it, there's a little bit of a space underneath the door. I don't like it because when you put it like this, it just does, it teeters. You got to put it off to, to the side and stuff. So what I typically do, just, just because I'm a little silly like that, is I'll use one of these other 18As and I'll just, I'll just cover it up. Now what you're doing is you're breaking the game a little bit by adding two extra spaces, but instead I just put the door there. So now it just sits properly, it doesn't fall off the map, looks a little bit more normal. Okay, so then it says here, place uh, Jaden Odenfinger in the indicated place and choose a player to play as her, which is gonna be me, and give that player the hero sheet class cards with her picture on it. Place the hero sheet with the red background face side down. And class cards can be earned by the heroes over the course of the campaign, but for now, keep the cards face down. All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna use my fancy Uber stacks because these things are fantastic for a game like this. So that's gonna make it easier for you guys to see. Here is Jan, so there is her card all ready to go. This is her particular uh, player, so you can actually get a good idea as, as to her special abilities, which we're not going to be using really at the beginning of this tutorial. We're going to be kind of playing a little bit dumb and going along with the tutorial as it lets us do things. And then later you'll see how all of those special things actually work out. Uh, so what we also need to grab is her uh, character class cards. So that's these here, very easy to distinguish. You just look for any cards that have her back on it. So you grab those, put them beside her card, and you're ready to rock. And then of course you need her figure. Now the only way to know exactly where she lands is to look at the app, it'll tell you exactly where she should be. And you can place her right down on the map. So there she is, she's actually got a pretty cool miniature. I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, but she's kind of crouched down in the prone position. Very awesome, so we'll have her pointing towards the door. Not too sure where we're going from here, we'll see. All right, so I just hit continue on the app and we're moving on to the next character. So it says place the... Uh, Garkin figure in the indicated space, choose a player, and you do the exact same thing. Hero sheet and class cards. He's gonna sit right beside her, so he's gonna end up being right here. His his uh, miniature is quite a bit more, uh, <laughs> quite a bit larger. He's also a little bit more aggressive, but it's a nice balance because we've got a melee character and a ranged character. So he's gonna be right here. We're now gonna grab another Uber Stacks tray, which we'll put on this side, and we'll drop his character card right beside it, so we got that. Might have to move this over just a tad, and we're good, I think. All right, and then we'll grab his class cards and bring them over, and again, very easy to distinguish. Just look at the backs of the cards, and you're not using these out just yet. The app is just telling you to get them ready. So for now, I'm just gonna put them kind of behind the, uh, the card because we don't really need to access them just yet. All right, and then of course, we've already placed him on the map where he should be, so we can go ahead and hit continue. All right, at attention, soldiers, a voice calls out. A uniformed human stands at the top of the set of stone stairs, looking down over you. My name is Corporal Kesh. I'm here to get you into fighting shape. The Alliance needs all the fighters it can get if we're ever going to overthrow the Empire. Place a Rebel Trooper token on the indicated space. This Rebel Trooper is Corporal Kesh. So you can see the Rebel Trooper's right there. Now, I do have the Rebel Trooper token. So yeah, I could put this here, but guess what? I really, I, I might. Yes, I do. I do have a Rebel Trooper miniature, Ugh. 
right here. So I'm gonna use this one and just pretend it's him because it just looks cooler. Uh, so there we go. So now he's sitting over there in the corner and uh, we've already done this. So we've replaced that Rebel Trooper and he is Corporal Kish. And it even shows exactly where he should be. So go ahead and continue. Place the gray Rebel Trooper deployment card, which is the red uh, card back with the Rebel symbol, on the table where all players can see it. Normally, allies like the Rebel Trooper will be under the player's control, but for the purposes of this tutorial, the app will tell you what to do. So the app's gonna actually control the allied player, which is Corporal Kish, but it is telling you to put the card out for him for reference anywhere kind of out in the open. So I'm gonna place it right here so we have it right up in front and we can reference all its stats and everything else about it. So we're gonna go ahead now and hit continue. Round one, okay, so we've, we've already done it here. It says missions are divided into a number of rounds within each round, each figure, hero, and ally gets to perform one or more activations. The round ends when all figures have finished their activations. The order in which uh, rebels perform their activations is decided by the players. Very cool, so we can choose whether to always start with Garkin and move forward, or we can go ahead with uh, uh, Jin. So it's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do actually is this is a perfect time to stop because uh, we really have actually completed the setup. We're ready to go and really at this point we're gonna begin activations and start playing through this tutorial. So I hope you guys this was very useful in getting this game to the table, showing you a little bit about the app, talking a little bit about how to get this thing set up uh, in the best way possible. In the next video, we're gonna kick it off right from where we are, and we're gonna just start exploring, see what the app has for us and what it throws at us. So I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the game of Imperial Assault. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching, and keep on rolling solo.